Hi, this is Jay from Gamefill, and today I'm reviewing Blood Bowl by Focus Home Interactive. For those who don't know, Blood Bowl is Warhammer's parody of the NFL leagues. It's a game of two halves, scoring touchdowns and beating the living tar out of anyone who gets in your way. Of course, this is not the first edition of the game. Owners of the previous edition can think of this as the previous edition with shed loads of DLC. Every playable race I know of has been added, there's a new story mode, and the inducements have been tidied up. You'd think, with all of this work, that they'd maybe fix many of the glitches that turn up as well? Graphics glitches, speed spikes and crawls, sound bite cutoffs. Individually, they wouldn't be a problem, but they all add up to create a major annoyance that should have been fixed in the last edition. And, of course, there's Securom activation, which most companies have given up on, but Focus Home Interactive have clung to like a life raft. But let's kill the rant and get on with what's good about this game. Having every playable race, for example, adds a lot to the game. There are more tactical options, and the teams themselves can be quite interesting. The added content for Blitz mode, where you can change the rules of the game, also have a lot of potential. Aging, finite contracts, sponsors, extra inducements, and dope testing all make for good fun. I still can't really see the point in full real-time play, though. Concentration mode, that's cool, but, yeah. Real-time is not for me, and I seriously doubt it's for long-time Blood Bowl fans. It can be a bit iffy to connect to players in multiplayer, but when you do, it's a good, enjoyable experience, with very few rage quits and a community of players who genuinely want to have fun. And finally, there's the Story Mode, which might as well be called Extended Tutorial Stroke Challenge Mode, because basically that's what it is. A series of challenges designed to show you extra tactical options and the like, while occasionally giving you a bit of the history of learning. So, while I go into a little more detail in the texty part of the review, linked in the description, I'll give you the summary now. If you like strategy and team management games, then at least give this a go, and if you're a fan of Blood Bowl, then definitely give this a go. I'll give this a 3.5 out of 5. I would give it more, but those little niggles really add up. This has been Jay from Gamerville, wishing you all a good week. It's not looking good for the defense. <laughs>